Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Arkham 3D, and what am I doing in my life? <laughs> so we're continuing on trying to create an animated short film in 10 days for a local short film festival here in Canberra. <laughs> Why? Why do I hurt myself? Um, so far, eh, it's coming along. There's a few bit of work that I still need to do so much animating. Ah, oh, but anyway, so if we jump over into here, let me just turn up the desktop audio. This is what some of the parts look like. It doesn't raise up enough. Dang it. Hmm. So the jaw's not working properly. It's that stinking bone. So yeah, I got a problem with the jaw. That's the one thing I got to work on. I got to redo this whole animation down the end. I don't know, this bit here. That's not too bad. Which arm? <laughs> it can be a lot better, but time constraints. So let's work, start doing stuff. So let's go delete default cube. What I need to find is now I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Um, Gleb and CG Masters a while back released a um, sci-fi creation pack. I'm just going to try and remember where did I save that? Tutorials Space Planet Let's have a look. Alright, cool. So this is the guys oh, I'm just going to try and remember Simple Planet I'm just going to cheat so let's crack this open. Hopefully it works in Blender 2.8. Oh my goodness, I could be so much better. I can tell you that much. Um, oh, actually, that might be okay. I'm just gonna press F12 to see what it looks like. You know what, let's cheat. I want that planet there. Cool beans, okay, which one are you? You, delete, you delete, you delete. Does this have a world? Please tell me it's got a world background image. I'm trying to navigate through this composition. Here we go. No. No. Oh, how does this work? Shade editor. That is. Ah, sorry. That's the shade editor. Let's go. World. Is there a world? No, it's just black. I don't want. I need something with a little bit of. Um, bit of oomph. So that's so why I'm just trying to find something that I can just quickly use. Watch me break the wrist and walk away. Andrew! Welcome. Okay, let's check this out. Dang it, it's got a background. I'm just gonna press F12. Let me just quickly jump into here. Uh, performance, I think it is. Let's change this to 32 by 32. F12, let's have a look. What's happening? Maybe we can just get away with the black. Do I dare just... Mm, let's just do that. You know what? Lazy town. We need to move on. So from here, we've got our planet that we're just going to use from um, Gleb. Thanks, Gleb. <laughs> from here, let's go file link. I'm going to link in our ship. Where's our ship? Scenes, come on. There we go. Um, assets, please be here. External. That one there. Let's link all that in. Collection. Oh, 
Oh, just everything. There it is. Okay, so we... And we've got our own light. You muppet. Let's delete that. Let me just act, go in and open up that blend file. Because um, like I was saying on previous streams, I've got... I'm planning on having maybe five and a half thousand frames. Now, the problem with that is is render times. And if I'm rendering at a minute a frame, that's 90 hours of rendering. And that's if it's, you know, if I don't stuff up and I've only got less than a week to go. Oh gosh, losing the plot. Lights, camera, action, assets. Let's go into Freddy's ship A. Let's grab that. Let's just quickly clean all this up. Um, we don't need that sun lamp, control S, is everything in the collection? It is not. So I'm just gonna quickly put that in there and the decals in there, control S, and then we can come back into the our other file, close this one, don't want that one. Don't save. Here we go, let's now shift S, cursor to world origin, let's bump this up. And now we will file append and let's go collection. Did I not save this? I did. What's your problem? Let's close and start again then. Um, where are we? Where are we? Come on. It's just trying to navigate so much stuff. Okay, back into tutorials. Um, back into, what do we say? Space planet. Project files. Blends. Simple planet. And then we'll get rid of everything else. Welcome people. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you like and subscribe. Delete, delete, delete. I do want this red type planet. Let's go file, file, link, um, mocap files. Let's bump that up into assets, ship a blend into the collection, select that. And hopefully it brings in everything lovely. Blender. Okay, there we go. Now let's go file, actually external data, automatically plug everything into the blend form, which is exactly what I want. I'm going to save as, and we'll save that over into um, the project. Now this one is scene one, save as. And if I just quickly move this into frame, it'll probably be easy just to move the camera. Um, as you can see, if you're not aware, most of these materials are from Extreme PBR Combo. Um, didn't need to do much. We've got a fairly nice ship. Let's just press F12 just to see what it's going to render like. Get stuff. Oh, that's not too bad. So it's pretty much what we're after. Um, this bit down here is our cockpit and this is the main ship. So let's just kind of animate that <laughs> flying in. Okay, shush, get out of here. I probably will need to put in a star field later, but that's future Marco's problem. We just got to start stinking moving. What am I looking for? Losing the plot. Somebody's calling me. Too bad. So sad. Um, from here... Where is the... There it is. Okay, cool. There we go. Cool beans. Let's grab this and we will select all that and scale it up. From here, we'll grab our ship. The, I always go, let's go from right to left. So I'm gonna grab the camera, give it a very high focal length. Let's go up to about probably 120 mil. Come on, buddy, come on. Problem is, I'm starting to make a lot of mistakes, which is ever so slightly annoying. Um, which way is our planet cool? Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Thank you very much for nobody reminding me because I didn't say what I needed to do. <laughs> Let's come into performance and I'm going to change this to 56. We got 32 and 32. Come back up into render, GPU compute. Good. Now, what I'm going to do is shift S cursor to shift S cursor to selected. And what I kind of want is the ship to kind of like warp in. Hey, Chris, how you doing, buddy? Let's add in an empty. Let's add in an empty. G Y. And I'm going to put it here-ish. I need a timeline so I can actually see time stuff. Okay. 
And so the camera is going to kind of be looking this way. And when it comes in, we will rotate that around. I think I want that planet substantially bigger. Problem is, is that doesn't give us a lot of room. So we'll move that over. Okay, I need to parent this ship to here. Control P, object. And now I'm just gonna move that over there. What does our planet look like? I can't see because the camera can only see about 100 meters. So let's just put a few more zeros in. There it is. Yeah, cool beans. And now if, let's just do a quick test render, see if this planet looks okay. Doesn't look too bad. Would be nice if it had probably a bit of a glow. I reckon it probably does have a glow, but I've probably shafted something somewhere. What are you? You're a different planet, so that's fine. What are you? Your lighting. Okay, cool beans. Okay, so let's grab this. Our camera will be pointing in this direction. Let's maybe move it up. Rotate XX. And then what I'm gonna do is probably around here. Let's scale on the Y axis. Like so, I know this is gonna look weird. What is configuration of your machine? I've got a GDX 39, I have a GDX 980 and the CPU is a 3900X. Um, so if I put in scale and while we're at it, let's put in location. And then two frames later, I want Alt S. Oops. Let's bring that back to zero on the scale. Come on, buddy. Scale. There we go. And now go insert keyframe and scaling. And so it looks weird. Let's go. I'm just going to move this frame to mm, one more frame forward, G1. So we kind of got that auto shrinking type effect. And then at this point, let's go 20 frames out, G minus one. Whoops. Let's go 500 minus I location. needs to go way more further than that, or I can just bring this back in. And we will change the location of this. So let's grab these key three frames. Let's move that over. We don't really see it, unfortunately. So maybe what we'll do is, is bring it there-ish. Cool. And then from there, Let's kind of grab that and let it just fly off towards here. Probably about this way. I location. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything, press T, and I want it to go linear. So I don't kind of want it to um, speed up or slow down. So let's grab that. Now the camera has moved. I think what we might do, so I definitely want that. I set scale load and whatever. And let's maybe copy it. And then we're just gonna kind of track it. And then we'll see what that's Daniel, how are we? Welcome, welcome. Rotate Z. So a very short, kind of like establishing shot-ish kind of. Let's move that to about there. All right. So let's have a look. Um, so what we need to do is in the render settings, we'll turn on motion blur. The motion blur. We love our motion blur. F12, let's just have a quick squeeze definitely need to put in some sort of star field in the back 
Ah, you jerk. Rotate Z. Uh, maybe what we'll do is select the camera, T, and we'll set that to linear. Yeah, cool. Let's just do that. Delete that one. Delete that one. And let's just rotate that around. Oh, wait, we don't see the planet, do we? Oh, you muppet. Okay, so that planet needs to come more into view. So let's grab this whole section and we'll just go 180, GX, GY. I want to see that planet in view. Where do we move it to about here, I think? Rotate Z. Hang on, where are you, buddy? Where'd this ship go? 180. Oops. There we go. GY. No, I need to kind of make that path, don't I? Because that just looks weird. All right, so let's change this up a little bit. So let's select all this, delete, shift A. Let's add in a Bezier curve. G, scale that up, tab into edit mode and we will give it kind of this uh, parabolic type thingamabob and let's rotate that around 90 degrees put that into here and then it kind of makes it look like that it's flying in but obviously it's still fairly far away Um, what we might do as well, just twist this up so it's not fully straight. Cool beans. Okay, morning, Stephen. Welcome. So now what we do... Oh, it's too far away. Let me just quickly increase our view. Put a few more zeros on there. Lovely jubblies. So from here... Oh, that looks yuck. That does not look smooth at all, does it? So let's kind of bring that like that, scale that in. From here, let's select this. This needs to be parented to the curve. Can I not parent empties to curves? Mm -hmm. I don't know why I've got headphones on. <laughs> Okay, let's go into curve. Do I have to make this a path? Or is that all being changed? Interpolation tilt, B spline, B spline. And I kind of want to have that rotation as it comes through. Let's give it some more resolution. Up to 32, there we go. Just to make it that little bit smoother. Lovely jubblies. However, add constraint, there we go. Uh, follow path of this one. Thank you. Animate path. Um, we will. We've got the empty selected. I do Alt R Alt G. And now technically, oops, delete that. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Follow curve. So let's now select our curve. Our curve needs to start at. frames let's just go uh, 500 frames might not be enough that's a bit too much I think so let's go 250 250 is about 10 seconds for an establishing shot cool bananas delete that one and then what I can do here is at this point we do what we did before set scale rotation blah 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 let's go into Scale X, so YY. I'm just going to scale it on the Y axis. There we go. And then as well, what I'll do is probably from about this point, GY off into the distance. 
and then we kind of get that appearing. And um, what we'll do is we'll throw in a sound effect as well. Um, where's my camera? Hello, Mr. Camera. How are you doing? Oh, well, thank you. Delete all that. Uh, I should have checked. When does this ship come into play? Let's just scale that probably all the way back here because there's no point in rendering empty frames. Um, what I will do is probably clean that up so it actually kind of flies in straight. There we go. Where's my camera? There it is. So now our camera should be able to see it somewhere. Very far off into the distance, but that's fine. We can move the camera towards it because I do want it when the ship appears. GZ. Rotate XX. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that's weird. Ah, so the reason why that is, is because there is X transformation on here on the location, which I don't want. Delete, delete, and delete. So hopefully now when it comes in, you don't really see it. So maybe we might just move this this way, G, X, just by one. No, you don't really see it. Ah, bah. Whatever. Cool beans. And then let's just follow the object a bit. Rotate Z. Rotate X. Rotate Z. Come on. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. It's just one of those days. Thank you. And then about here, hopefully the planet is in view. Is that the planet? Yeah, cool. All right. So that pretty much gives me the shot that I wanted. So let's just fix up that. And that's just because of Now I want the camera to kind of go past a little bit, ever so subtle. So it kind of goes past and then comes back. So that's a bit too harsh. So let's bring that over and bring that around. I think maybe what I've done is too much. So let's go shift D, move that over there. And then I'm just gonna ever so gently just move it. There we go. Let's make this planet bigger. Really get that involved. There we go. All right, now let's press F12. Let's just do a quick test render. Did you make a storyboard for this project? I should have. However, I started on, I had a script all done and I had that one storyboarded, but um, part of the short film festival, you have to add an extra 10 objects into the short film that's based around Canberra. Um, so yeah, had to scrap that and start it again. And I'm just trying to smash it out. So that doesn't look too bad. Let's check this frame. That's not too bad. I do like that. I probably should make it turn in a little bit earlier, but that looks nice. That's fine. Where's my Bezier curve? You know what, buddy? Let's just bring that in and make sure it does fly in a little bit more. G. Ah, uh, oh, one thing I haven't done is on 
this, I need to follow curve. Sure. And then will it twist as well? Curve. Whoop. So I kind of want it to have a bit of a twist. Shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby. Um, rotation. And then probably while it's here, let's do rotate on the Y axis. There we go. And so it's going to have this kind of gradual twist as it comes around. Let's go control O because I've moved that. Let's come back into the camera. Rotate Z, put that a little bit more into view. Rotate Z, select about there. Don't like that, so let's fix this up. Rotate XX. Whoops, okay. So that kind of cuts over a little bit too fast now. Let's grab that, rotate Z. I think that's fine there. Okay, so this will render at 221. Did I save this? Yes, I did. Yes. So let's just do two more test renders, see what that looks like. F12. Plus bonus points for Blue Brothers tunes. <laughs> Thank you. So that doesn't look too bad. What I need to do is fix up the cockpit there so it actually has um, a light so you can see our person. I think I might want to zoom in a bit more. So let's make it probably about 150, 200. And then we can just refix that focus. Oh, look at that. It's pretty much already in center. And then maybe at this point here, let's go right click insert keyframe on the focal length and then we'll kind of pan back out. So we can see that, yes, it's a giant planet. Maybe, maybe we'll grab that camera and let's bring it all the way back here. And then so it's got a more of a gradual. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, gorgeous, done. Control S, save. Let's jump on our spreadsheet. And we will go this, um, ready to render. Da -da -da -da. I've got to do that. Okay, what's scene four? Da -da -da -da. Scene four, ship flies down and enters the atmosphere. Okay, so that can be, let's do that. Cool, cool, we can do that, that one's fine. Let's go file, nope, file new, general, and we go let's start off by link because i want to link the thing collection bump that in and now for now i'm just going to hide that shift a let's add in a thing landscape um, bring this up i do like a good canyon but i don't need canyons right now let's kind of <clears throat> excuse me let's work out flat stone no Large terrain. No. Um, so I'm just trying to find something that looks nice. See, that doesn't look too bad. Techno cell? Definitely not. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go for a desert type planet. Canyons look good. Cauliflower hills. What is that? Huh, it does look like cauliflower. Nope. I think we might just go to that default large one. Ugh. Not that one. No, it was that one. Large terrain. And then probably cut it in half. Because we don't need it so big. I need kind of size white is it this one nope 
Howdy, howdy, culture. Welcome. Mesh, oh, I'll just leave it at that. Okay. So I need a, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'll probably be able to find somewhere a nice camera angle. Scale it by 10. All right, let's have a look. Do we have anything that's terrain wise? Dusty and red. That one doesn't look too bad. Oh, look at that. Ooh, ooh, that one there. Let's do that. Um, so this is extreme PBR combo that I'm using. There it is, add new. And then if we jump over into cycles, change this to a sun to and let's just jump into that. I'm just going to find a nice spot where we can kind of see the ship flying over. Kind of like so. Howdy, howdy, Brian. What? Let's fix that up. Um, UV editor. Actually, let's just do it like this. You project from view with bounds. 20. Let me just check. Come on, buddy. Get off. Material wise. Yikes. Wrong way. Um, minus 20? I must be. I put the wrong one in. It's that one. Okay, let's just jump into UV editing, do it this way. Twenty. Fifty. Cool. And then once we start putting some rocks on, um I don't have the latest scatter tool, unfortunately. Which is a little bit annoying because I know that there's some cool stuff with the scatter. Let's see if they've got a bit of a desert type thingy majiggy. Select that. Biodomes manager. Increase this. Do we have desert? Do we have a desert? So we don't have a desert. Um, but we will be using this a little bit later. Okay. Love in the series. Awesome. That is good. That is really good to know. I've taken a day off to work on the project. I am just like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Do I have... Do I have rocks anywhere? I'm just trying to think. Do I have rocks? Do I have rocks? Do I have rocks? I don't think I've got rocks. Do you have rocks? Do I have rocks? These are all the assets. So that's all plants, but I need rocks. I've got rocks. Lots and lots of rocks. Um, I might have some assets lying around for... CG Geek? CG Geek? I know I had it once upon a time. Uh, blender? Flip Fluids? Nope. Come on. Temp? Nope. Soft Body? Nope. That's the other channel. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, I do have a secondary channel that does uh, physics simulations. It's called Physics Simulations in the description so if you want to sign up for that one dang it where is that use the search but I don't even know what it's called that's the problem rock CG you suck let's go this way um, 
CG. Let's go. Anyway, all right, stuff that. We'll come back into that one later. Where's my ship? Alt H. Um, while we're at it, let's create some sort of desert sky. Where are we? It's in create dynamic sky. Create that into shading. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, that actually isn't too bad. Let's come into world and then we go to dynamic sky. Yeah, that actually, that's pretty good. Let's create another material for this world. So while we're here, let's go into object. We've got that one. What I'm going to do is add in a second material. Now I did do a video on this a while back. So let's select that one. I'm going to go add new. I'm going to grab the mud, control C, go back into the stones, control V, G. Oh no, now I've got to remember how to do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back. Baby, come back. Okay, from here. And then what we do is we go mix shader, mix shader. And I'm just going to connect these two. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And come on, down in here, buddy. In there, in there. Okay, now. Okay. Object. Object info? Nope. Dang it, I keep forgetting all this stuff. So when I make a tutorial, it's normally for myself because I know I'm going to forget. Geometry. I need geometry. Normal. Um, we need to separate X, Y, Z. I think so. Color. Whoops. Shift A. Search. Color ramp. We put that Z in there-ish. Put in this into here. And then if we make it really defined, we should have, ah, whoops, let's come. I oh, know that's fine because correctly UV unwrapped. Let's go back into the materials. Come on, buddy. No, I've missed something. Normal? There we go. That's what I wanted. Um, so what it's doing is where the normals not facing really Z, then it's going to add in our different texture. And so we can kind of get this effect happening. I'm going to change these two around just to kind of break up the scenario. Definitely we need to get some rocks in here. Might even find some sand. Do we have sand? Come on, do we have sand? Let's select this. Let's see if we've got like a sand texture, sand floor, snow, rocks. We've got rocks. Lots and lots of rocks. I think I already said that one. Terrain. Come on, sand. I need some sort of... Let's grab that one. Add. And then we'll come into... What did I just select? Was that one? I want to say this one. Okay, let's grab all that. Control C. Let's come into here. Red dirt terrain is different. Beautiful. So let's come back into here. I'm going to do Control V. G. Let's grab all that. Actually, whoops, should have grabbed all this. C, Control, V, G. That will go into the top. That will go into there. That one gets deleted. This one comes into here. 
and then we're going to bring this all the way back all the way back no you don't want to do that baby come back did I grab the right one it's in the right one oh ploppers Why is it being a jerk? Blender, why are you doing this to me? Really? Mm. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Darn, darn, darn. Ah, here we go. I've duplicated stuff. Okay, here we go. So, we can move that back come on buddy okay really get in there like so and then we come back here do I have it set up correctly nope let's come back around let's swap these two around again and we're kind of just mixing up these textures oh, far out. I thought we were mixing up these textures so which one's which if I remove if I remove this one Being a jerk. Okay, so if it's this way, it's hills. So I definitely want that one to go in there then. And so that's going to be our rock terrains. And then this one down here, we will plug into the bottom. I need to make it a bit more aggressive. Ease. Beast blind? No, not beast blind. That's even worse. Let's go constant. That's not going to work because that's going to be harsh lines everywhere. I don't want harsh lines. So let's go into ease. Yeah, cool beans. Let's go with that. And then that means over here, these two should be mixing. Oh, wait, I bet you. You idiot. Did it again. <laughs> yes, we're good now. Have we got the right one? I got the right one. But for some reason, it's not changing! Why? Oh, probably because it's not... Um, let's try then. Math node. And we'll throw that in. Change this to multiply with a value of 20. Nope. 0.1. And trying to get that there. All right. Mm. It's not really working how I want it to work. Dang it. Maybe, maybe for this one then, let's use maybe the Y. Let's just see what happens. Whoops. <gasps> that actually semi worked. Yes, even I'm shocked. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. G, Z. Look at that. Now we've got a bit of variation in the ground. <laughs> up here for thinking and then let's go probably something like that let's increase the camera distance render so we've got hills in the background and then what we'll do is we'll just kind of have the ship fly in where's my ship collection there you are Let's just go from which 
which way you're facing, buddy. Oh, look at that mountain. No, 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 no. I want that mountain. There we go. Um, so this is just more of an establishing shot as well. Um, I think what we might do is make the sky a little bit darker as well. Let's go G. Y, I, location. Actually, let's just do everything. Where's the button? There it is. I'm going to grab that. And it's going to go G, Y. And will the camera be able to see that location? Not really. Nope, what we're going to do is I'm going to have the ship come down and around. And then we'll make it kind of land about here. What's time? 1.30. Oh my goodness. <laughs> around. How about we save this? Um, this is scene four, I think. It's just so I can start rendering things like we explained before. Shift A. Let's add in our Le Curve. Le Bezier. Zino. Zit is a Bezier. Zewiwi. Uh, rotate 45 degrees. Let's select this. Rotate scale. Extrude. And then we're going to kind of... Mm, actually, you know what? I'm not going to use the Bezier curve. I want to use the NURBS curve because I find that that seems to be a lot um, cleaner in terms of curves, so let's go G, G. Maybe it's just I'm terrible at using the Bezier curve. And so if we cover coming up and around, G, Z. G, Z, I do like that mountain in the background. And let's just grab, actually, let's just pick that point. O for proportional editing, connected only, GZ, scale that up. And then so it's kind of got a gradual, ah, oh, then I'm not gonna see that mountain. What? View, do I have to maybe change the view up here? So I'm just trying to see. So it comes from over there. So maybe what I might do is I might just select this, rotate 90 degrees on the Z axis. Rotate 180, there we go. And that should now give us the uh, mountain in the background. I do want it to kind of sit probably about here-ish. Oops, proportional editing's on. G. Okay, camera, where are you? No, you land in front of the camera. The camera is there. I was looking at the wrong piece. So probably about there. G, nice and low. Okay, cool beans. So let's now select our ship, um, put in our constraints up here, add the child of black. Nope, 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 nope. Follow path, follow path. And I want follow curve, curve radius, Alt R, Alt G. Are you facing the wrong way? You sure are. Of course you're facing the wrong way. There we go. Let's just get a little bit of a drink. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, so uh, as I said before, we're just making a short film in 10 days. Ugh. I think I've bitten off more than I can chew, but we will tarry on. What is that option? Bump that up, bump that up, time. 
there should be a time bit somewhere or maybe path animation there we go um, I want about probably 400 frames follow okay ship what are you doing why aren't you following it animate path I want it to land right in front if possible I think that's the key let's just get it landing in front of the camera so it's a nice big Z Z so let's go maybe scale Z zero I do want that to rotate the other way no no I need you to you're rotating the wrong way buddy how do I do that there's a roll feature somewhere tilt Five hundred, and so I just want to make sure that it's tilting correctly. It's not. You're tilting the wrong way, buddy. There we go. So as it comes down, let's just select that one. Let that tilt this way as well. You need to tilt a bit. And then it has a massive hissy fit right at the end. So it needs to kind of, oh, it needs to slow down at this point. I think maybe what I'll do is probably till it gets to that point, but it's a constant speed. I don't want it at a constant speed. Got the Bezier frames. So it starts off, let's say it starts off at 400 and set keyframe. And then by frame, so, oh, that's too long though. No, I want it 400 frames long. So maybe at this point here ish. Does that work? How does that work? If it starts off, let's say, 100 frames, right click, insert keyframe. Do I have two keyframes there? Yep, that's fine. Ah, no, I did do it already. Captain Smart. And so that'll slow down. So it should be going. And then it slows right now, but it's doing that jittering thing. No, that's no good. Okay, all that time wasted. So I don't know how to actually slow it down gently. What's up? Uh, what's the runtime of this movie? It's going to be three minutes. The film actually should be seven. Like it has a maximum of seven, but I'm only going to go three. All right, let's, let's scrap all that because that does not work. Let's delete this. Let's go ship. Where are you? Um, so what we'll do is let's just manually animate, select everything, delete keyframes, keyframe one, I, bom, 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 and at 400. Frame 400, I want it to be... I don't have a landing gear on this thing. Dang it. I've still got to model that. I think probably about here-ish. Okay, about here. So what I'll do is Shift D. I'm going to move that there. And then what I can do is just kind of 
slow it down ever so slightly. We will duplicate this frame here. Come on. Shift D. And then this frame here is just going to go GZ up a little bit. And so it's going to kind of slowly come in. And then it'll just kind of slowly go down. So I might even bring that back a little bit. Cool beans. Let's go with that. I'm going to move the camera over here so we can actually see it. Do I have that mountain range in the background? I sure do. Please be there. Rotate Z. Can't really see the mountain range. But I definitely need to create that landing gear. So that's future Marco's problem. Mm, no, it's going to be a static camera. I'm not going to move that around. Come on, delete that. Um, maybe in the maybe in the graph editor. Yeah, I think I might have to jump over into that. But it should be. It looks nice and smooth now. The way I do that, rotate Z, rotate X. There we go. Bring that around in there. That's yuck. That's yuck. Um, let's go into, jump into the graph editor now. Animation. I hate how they've removed the graph editor. I want the graph editor there. Yes, I know I can just re-add re it. Still, it's not the point. Select everything. I can press numpad period. And then we can see that this is our curve for our camera. Yeah, let's make it a little bit like that. Nice, a little bit smoother. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, uh, turn the Z's up, you reckon? I reckon that's tilting too much too early. So let's change that tilt. Is that tilt? G, Y. Nope, that's location, you silly boy. X, there we go. Let's grab that, G, X, bring that over. And then it kind of really like as if it slams on the brakes. Uh, turn the Z up in the height map, land height, get more mountains. Do I want that though? It does look good though. Oh, actually, now let's check out the material. Clever cookie. So now we've got more definition in the material. Yeah, let's go with that. Thanks, culture. <laughs> um, let's check where does it land? So it stops flying about here. It's very much off the ground, but I'm going to cheat and we'll bring it up. And then we'll cheat again as well. So I'm going to grab a few of these vertices. O for proportional editing. G, Z, and then I'm just going to kind of create a flat surface. Let's grab some faces instead. C, scale Z, G, Z. Let's do some mass cheating. Z. Whoa, what are you doing? All right, cool beans. Yeah, nice. Nothing quite like cheating. Let's just grab a little bit of section in there. Did I? There we go. Cool bananas. Oh, that looks sick. Let's just press it. Um, come up into here, motion blur, F12. Let's have a look what happens. <laughs> yeah, goal. that did not turn out well, did it? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was 
<laughs> I'm not going to talk about that one. That was horrendous. But yeah, anyway, so that's not too bad. Fairly chuffed. Definitely, um, I'm going to find some rock assets for tonight. <laughs> Dump them in. Um, we will probably, we'll actually try and use Manta Flow as well. Um, I kind of want a bit of dust happening and we'll see. So I'm just gonna press F12. I just want to see what it looks like all together. Got some rocky outcrops. That brass there looks nice. Let's go. Let's add in a little bit of extra flare. I'm going to click on uh, do, 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 the camera settings, depth of field. Oh, go back. I want that. Let's just check, see what it looks like. I just want to see if this front section down here, I probably should have. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Oh, it's blurred. Oh, <laughs> delightful. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know if Andrew's still here or Adrian, Adriano. Um, still in here, but these textures are amazing. Oh, look at that. Does that look make it look like a miniature? Is the question. There is no sense of scale. I think is the biggest problem right now. Does it look like a miniature? It does look sick though. does look like a miniature what am I going to do is that these rocks are too big the camera is from far away so maybe maybe I can't do that maybe the camera needs to come in more I think it does doesn't it so let's get the camera I'm going to move the camera in I do like this camera so I'm going to keep this camera just in case Let's go shift, shift A. Let's add in a new camera, camera, camera. And where is 400? Let's bring it probably about here. G, Z, uh, control uh, numpad zero to change camera. And then because I'm going to fix this up. We are actually going to be able to see the person in the cockpit. So this is our cockpit area. Um, do I have another scene open? So we can see that that is the kind of cockpit. That's the kind of look we're going for. Um, that window is not there, but that's fine. Rotate X axis. Oh, that could be so menacing. So it needs to probably hover a little bit more, but let's go F12 just to see what it looks like. Rocks in the way there. Maybe a sense of scale where the cockpit is done with the character in there. Yeah, so that's what I was thinking. Um, I think the camera blur is a little bit too strong now. But yeah, I think character in there. Mm. Mmm, baithy. I think, the, yeah, the size of the... Oh, jeez. Size of the lens is definitely too big now uh, because we're so close. Oh, wait, there is no size of the lens. Depth of field. Oh, they, that was motion blur. Well, let's, let's just see what that looks like actually let's have a look what it looks like landed f12 so this is without motion blur it's still kind of out of focus so let's go f stop uh 5.2 f12 
I definitely got to refix that bit up. It does look somewhat menacing. What's the time? Quarter to two. All right, we've got another 45 minutes. Mm. That does look pretty cool. Definitely if I can get that person in there. Um, I do need to add in a bevel. I think I've got an extra piece over the top, which I need to get rid of over the cockpit. Um, compared to... It's a, that's what it could be, actually. Because the model itself is fairly small. So do I make the lens smaller? Maybe that's what it needs to be. Um, let's try 20 mil. Um, tr object transformation. Let's go grab these three and delete that. And then we can come, where's the ship landing? G. G. Oh, <laughs> I'm intrigued. What's this going to look like? F12? What is it going to look like? Oh, I don't know. That seems... Is it? Definitely with the cockpit in view, I reckon that'll look sick. Just want those rocks. I gotta find rocks. I think I might have to jump and bed swap. Could be. That's why I think, yeah, throwing in like um, additional rocks in there I think might be better. So let's undo that. Got the camera selected. So let's go like this rotate XX. Does look sick though. <laughs> that does look sick. Right there. Let's have a look what that frame looks like. Too close. Maybe the camera is not right height for a human would be. Maybe. Oh my goodness, that looks awesome. Oh wow. Oh, what's the render times like? Forty-five seconds. Beautiful. Oh, I'm fairly chuffed with that. But I think you I think you might be right with the camera height. That, okay, so maybe that's what it needs to be. Um, let's just check where's my X and Y locations. So let's just delete these. Delete vertices. And we will bump this up to a GZ, probably about here-ish. It seems to be in line with the cockpit there. Oh, what about the ground? Mm, maybe GZ. Oh, spicy. Okay, I'm gonna, let me just jump. Let me just go Control S. I'm just gonna close that. I'm gonna jump into this here. Um, Alt H, delete just so we can actually have it looking a little bit better. Now let's open up Blender again, file, open recent, open, don't save. What did we say, scene, what was I just working on? Scene four. Ah, oh, there we go, look at that, that's a lot better. So let's just press F12 on that one. When the camera lands, height of the camera needs to be at human height for the movie observer to recognize the reality. Yes. think the depth of field is far too strong but that looks sick though <laughs> oh that 
that looks so gorgeous. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, delightful. I think the texture's a bit... This one here is a little bit big, so I can probably expand that one. That's gorgeous. Hey, Francie, how you doing? That's... Mm, that means I can start rendering stuff. Mm, spicy. Well, actually, we'll use a scatter tool and hopefully just dump a whole bunch of rocks everywhere. Um, what I do need to do is rig the back door. What do we got? We have 40 minutes before I have to get off. Okay, 40 minutes, Ooh, maybe half an hour. That is awesome. Okay, save that. The next thing I need is I need another asset. Now, one of, I'm gonna close this. Let's close that one. Um, this is where we're at at the moment with what I've done, animation wise. Oh, I can hear myself now. Gotta fix that. gotta fix that just all these little things i need fixing what's do i gotta do so pretty much what i've done now is i'm just trying to get the animation in um because you know if i don't have a polished animation i would rather have a not polished animation than not having one at all so Hang on, that's the wrong one. Let's bring that just so we can increase the size. Ooh, that neck. So this is gonna be images of locations around Canberra. And I gotta fix up the jaw. I don't know what that was. So I've got a problem with the jaw that I've got to fix up. Um, what's hap... Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. You're not mentioning... Really? Oh, did it go back? Uh, properties. So let me just see if I can quickly fix it. Advanced audio properties. You suck. Dang it, I don't know why. Oh, well, I have to try and fix that later. Um, so I got a problem um, with the jaw because on the original rig, the jaw is controlled by bone where everything else is controlled by shape keys. Um, and when I went from Auto Rig Pro, when I went from that rig to Auto Rig Pro, it removed all the weights. And I've already learned today that I can transfer the weights, but it's now controlling those um, shape keys. Um, that bone from another rig, it's it just got a bit yuck. So I'm working on that. All right. Anyway, back quick. Let's go. Let's move forward. What's that? That's one of my other scenes. That's fine. Let's open it up. So one of the items is a scarecrow. And so what happens is when they go out the ship, the grass starts growing because they're terraforming the land. Um, and kind of like the dock for the drone is going to kind of make it look like he's a scarecrow. I'm like, oh, that's ingenious. So let's start off. Let's create this kind of rig type thing. Let's e link in our character, character asset, YT13, collection, collection. There he is. And now I want to be able to control his bones. So I'm just going to go search and type in proxy, make proxy, and I'm going to select his rig. And now I can select his rig. So let's select that. I'm going to disable selection of there. Let's now come into pose mode. And I want this thing to probably sit about three meters high. So let's go G, Z, there we go. So it's about three meters. All right. Um, I was working on the back, but then I realized there's no point in working on the back because I don't actually think you see him. 
I think that might be a bit too high. Let's go, let's go two meters and let's try and work out what should we make with this. Let's go into object mode. Let's come on. Let's, let's create something. So first things first is we're going to create a kind of stand. No, shift S cursor, shift S cursor twirled origin. Let's go cylinder, bring that in there. And so what this will be is our stand. GZ, so it's going to be a nice big fat pole. And I think what we'll do is kind of make a base that goes into the ground. Nice big wide base. So let's go Shift D, scale that in, rotate 45 degrees. And then probably from about here, let's extrude like so. Shift S cursor to selected. So let's just kind of block this out. What we're actually going to do, Shift D, rotate 180, get stuffed. Come up into here, Control L, Shift D, rotate 180. Control L, Shift D, rotate 90. So we've kind of got this. Ugh, that looks yuck. That is not what I'm going for. Okay, we'll fix that up as well. Um, the dock. GZ. So let's move everything to back a little bit. GY. Um, we will grab kind of like a circle that the thing is sitting on. So let's go Shift S Curse Word Origin. Dun, 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 dun. And we will create another. Let's go just create a circle. GZ. Let's see if we can get it sitting right on it. And we'll extrude, bring that out. Let me just press N just in case somebody wants to she see. She sells C cells by the seashore. Just see in case somebody wants to see my keys. Medium point. Okay, now G Z. Come on, and then let's bring that in. So it's sitting like that. E to extrude. And there we go. Cool bananas. Mm. It's a little bit buggy out the back there. That's fine. Control B. Let's give that in there. Control B. Put a bevel so it definitely can fit in there. Uh, maybe what we'll do is grab this section and we'll select these vertices in here. Delete vertices. And so it's kind of half open. Um, from there did is that still the center let's maybe undo that let's grab this shift d gx and just move that off to the side and then redo that delete vertices there we go and let's just go be really lazy face face because we're not really going to be seeing that let's grab this again, P, separate by selection, G, X, hold control. And then from here, we will grab this section in here, delete vertices. Let's scale that in. Dang it, should have done that first. Scale. And so what I'm doing is I'm connecting this ring here to the pole. And so let's now grab all these vertices here, delete vertice. And then we're going to grab these two. Maybe we'll go W, select all, W, subdivide. And then that way I can select C and C, proportional editing with O. Cool beans. E to extrude on the Z axis, like so. G, Z. How's that looking? And let's go smooth, object data, normal, so there we go, auto smooth. Auto smooth. Cool. Um, there needs to be some sort of um, body that sits under here as well. Because um, we want to make it look like a scarecrow. <laughs> we should give it a hat. 
that will kind of fold down because if we actually look in the cockpit, let's go, nope, go like this then. We can see that this point here, I've got kind of like a power point in there and that's where the drone starts off. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Let's see if we can actually do this and achieve creating an animated short film in 10 days. Cost selected. I want a cylinder here. Rotate X 90, Y 90. Scale that in. Turn off proportional editing. Okay. Something like that. Let's put there. Control B. All right. And then what I can do is press number two, 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 two. Why aren't you working? That was weird. There we go. Control B and mouse wheel up. Let's go control numpad minus alt S to scale that in. And then what we will have is the outside is connected. So let's go G Z I to do an inset and then it goes up. That's not enough. Scale shift Z. There we go. Nice. Nicey McNice nice scale on the X axis. And then we're going to do is kind of create a hat and then we'll rig this a little bit later so that it goes and closes on the, um, the drone. <laughs> Let's just make it a hat, an actual hat. Cursor to world origin. Um, cylinder. GZ. Scale on the Z axis. I might make it a little bit bigger. GZ. I to do an inset. Yeah, that works nice. And then what we'll do is actually let's just delete the bottom side. Ah, there we go. Sorry. Delete faces. Whoops. Delete vertices. And then we can fix that up afterwards. I'm going to select this and this. Actually, delete this vertice. And let's scale that so it's sitting straight. G Y, so it's sitting. Mm, actually, no. Let's go select them, subdivide that, and then I can bring that across. I can bring that across, and then select the, that. Up. Scale Y zero. G Y. Why are you making a hat? So one of the um, items that we have to use is a scarecrow. And so what this is, is once the, once the planet is being terraformed, it's kind of like the drone stays behind to monitor the, the planet. And so, because I need to make a scarecrow, let's just make a hat that's got sensors on it. That seems like a pretty clever way of making a scarecrow. Well, that's what I think. <laughs> and then hopefully the, I get brownie points, not brownie points, creativity points. Um, Cause in the, in the short film, um, you get like pretty much bonus points for being creative. And I kind of want to actually get into the short, um, actually get into the short film festival this year. And we're going to kind of make what it was there before. Whoa, what was that? I don't know what that was. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's fix that. Alt M last, Alt M last, Alt M last, and Alt M last. And now hopefully if I do insert, there we go. 
that fixed that problem. Um, and what we'll do is let's come into here. What's the time? Ugh, 25 minutes. And we'll kind of make antennas. Size shift Z. <laughs> and then come into normal. There we go. Beautiful. Definitely got to be putting some stuff around here. Maybe let's maybe just give it a little bit of decoration. Control B. E to extrude Alt S. Something like that. Definitely around probably the frame here. Control B. Control B. E to extrude on the Z axis. Let's now throw in a bevel modifier. Bevel modifier, turn off angle, and now we've got slight bevels in there. Um, let's select that shade smooth, come over into the object data, auto smooth that as well. Cool beans, and we'll do the same for these. Control J to join them. Bevel angle, object data, auto smooth is already on. Shade smooth, lovely job. All right, now some sort of body. What have we got? 25 minutes. Come on, let's create something in 25 minutes. Well, actually, not too bad. <laughs> okay. I'm actually, I'm actually fairly happy with this idea. <laughs> All right, um, from here, let's go put an edge loop in there. I'm gonna bring that in. And let's bring size on the X. What do we got? Anything? Nope. All right. Um, let's actually encompass everything here. So it's actually kind of sitting through there. G, Y. Let's grab these two. Let's grab that and that. Control B to do bevel. Select the top bit, select the... Ah, oh, you're a jerk, aren't you? Yes, you are. Control B. About there. Z, that, and Z. And we make some things like this. Let's come into here. And the coming to here, we kind of have a Z body. Let's grab all these faces in here. Scale on the Y. G, Y. And let's go shade smooth. Um, I think what we might do is I to do an inset, I to do an inset. Let's do control R in there and then I can go G, Y. Why are you ugly? Did I do the wrong thing? No, that's, that's fine. Fine, we'll do it this way. Okay, let's put another edge loop in here. Control B. There we go. Control numpad, Alt S. In we go. Auto smooth. Let's turn that on. So now we're kind of creating some panels. Um, let's bump up auto smooth to about 45 degrees. There we go. So that's all nice and smooth. Um, I reckon not through there. Whoops, let's come in. V to rip. And now what I can do is come through there. Um, let's select all that. I to do an inset. And then we'll put another edge loop in there. Control B. So let's select that one and that one. Alt S and in V to rip. And there we go. So now we've kind of got, yeah, that's not bad. Uh, probably need to put some sort of like sensor on the side. Let's just throw in shift S cursor to world origin. Let's just throw in a plane to see what that looks like. I'm not 
terribly fond of this base, so that's something we're to come back and work around. <laughs> so cool. Oh, I'm fairly chuffed. I know it might look stupid, but add some corks. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I think definitely some wires probably trickling up around the top. So let's go put in Z as a busy Kiev, as you'll know. Rotate X, Y, minus. There we go. Rotate Y, 45. Get stuffed. Just rotate 45, minus. There we go. Let's bring that up to here, scale that down, scale that down, um, put it about here-ish. We need to give the geometry some depth, like so, let's go GZ, and then we come up here, 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 GZ. Okay, let's line this up like so. E to extrude, E to extrude. Get up your Muppet. Scale. And then what we'll do is let's kind of bend that around. Rotate 45, not minus. Ah, oh, you joke. Rotate 90 minus. E on the X. How's that looking? Not looking well. There we go. Mm, we need to probably make some sort of clippy clip clips. Let's just grab that all again and we will shift D Y. Where is the circle? Is that's the circle there? No, it's not. So I'm just trying to work out. Oh, there. Well, that's the outer circle. Okay. Whatevs. Done. Cool beans. Um, from here, I'm just going to shift S, cursor word origin. Let's create a cylinder rotate x y 90 degrees scale let's bring that in <laughs> oh terrible terrible thing that my thoughts i e u u a wada wada bing bang u a Shade smooth, and then this can be kind of sort of like some sort of input if it needs to. So if somebody else comes, they can whoop, plug a computer in or something. That looks quite nice. Okay, what are we going to do about this tripod? Let's go have a quick squeeze. Some sort of tripod. Hmm. Sci-fi stand <laughs> images. Anything? Oh, that's oh, that's a nice corridor. Maybe even maybe even something like that. That looks not too bad. Okay, well let's let's try that. Let's go into a plane. Let's grab that scale on the X. So maybe something like this, E to extrude, control B, and then we grab something like that, something like this, I'm going to grab these frame uh, things here, let's do I to do an inset, and then come around the edge to come around the edge, delete vertices, and then let's put some edge loops in there, control B, delete 
faces. But then we can come in and see, select all that, control L. Let's go into individual origins and scale, scale on the Y, control L, G, Z. Definitely kind of need some um, things underneath, maybe some sort of pins or some spikes. Uh, yeah, actually, let's do that. That's a good idea. So let's go something like this, and I want it sitting above. And I to do an inset. Yep. Yeah, I'm down with that. So let's just keep it nice and simple. Shade smooth. Auto smooth. Shift D X. About there. Shift D. Shift D. Now, can we do something cool about this? We'll keep half the stand. V to rip. Let's select all this. Control L, delete vertices. Um, maybe, maybe something like a like a semicircle that plugs into the back. That might look alright. Let's go circle. Let's go up to sixty four. Rotate X ninety degrees. Oops. Scale. Scale on the Y. So something like that. Um, we'll get rid of all these. Delete vertices. Control L E to extrude on the Y. G Y. Let's go proportional editing, GY. Whoa, no, 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 only connected. Set it down, sunshine. GY. Let's go sphere, GY. Nope. GY. Oh, mm. no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's grab that. G, whoops, let's turn off proportional editing. G, X. E to extrude. Something like that. And then let's grab this top face. Into proportional editing. Smooth. That looks, I'm fairly chuffed with that. Um, I will, I am, yes. I normally do streams on Sunday night, but I'm just kind of trying to stream as much as possible of the process of creating this short film. Welcome. Um, no, 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 just add some screws. I know I should add some screws. That is very correct, but, oh, that looks gorgeous. That looks gorgeous. Okay, well, it's, Save it. Come on. Let's go. Assets. This will be our external underscore drone dock. And now what I can do is I can come in and select these two and let's just delete them. All right. And let's delete that. Shift, shift S. What are we going to do? Let's, let's just you smart UV project Oakley Doakley and if you guys were on my stream the other night this is we select all this and you can see that the UV is not optimized but I can use UV pack master there's a link in the description for this to pack and <laughs> so apparently that's the best way of unpacking and then we can do it for the hat use smart UV project select everything pack Oh, really? Oh, oh well. Select that, you, Smart UV Project. Select all pack. 
Uh, what am I doing? You smart EV project. Select all pack. That's actually not too bad. I just leave that. Am um, I just leave that? Okay, so while we're here, let's create some materials. So I'm going to use Extreme PBR Labray, and I want a bit of bit of a worn out map kit. Let's select all these. Add new. Add new. Well, it doubles up. Dang it. So let's come in and we will go into there. Um, for those of you who are new, welcome. Looks like streaming during the day is not beneficial for me, which is really unfortunate. Mind you, I don't really stream during the day because I'm at work. Okay. I want this to be a kind of a plastic. And unfortunately, PBR combo doesn't really have a plastic, but KidOps does. Oh, but this is Eevee. Ugh. Let's go plastics like that and add to insert. Let's just click on materials. How are you looking? UV smart UV project. Let's go into the UV. Definitely need to do that. Scale by three. Come into this thing. Oh, actually, no, that material is too harsh. I'll fix that up in a sec. Let's come into shading on this. I don't want black. I kind of wanted a, maybe like a grayish. So that's not too bad there. We will probably UV editing. Let's select that and scale that by two to make those dimples even smaller. Scale by two. Ah, that's because that doesn't use UV unwrapping, that uses object data. Right. Texture scale. So if I do eight, eight and eight, there we go, that's a bit better. Um, I don't like this material. I don't think that material suits it at all. So let's go back into here. Um, I wanna do something like that. Go back into PBR combo, something, maybe replace, nope, maybe we just go refresh, yeah let's just go with that, that sounds fine and I want that to be metal O2 as well, nice, I'm fairly happy with that, control S. And then if we were to go into, which I don't have at the moment, I don't have that scene. So let's have a look. Let's kind of go through and check what we've got. Okay, so scene one, spaceship flying in. That's cool. Drone hold, we've done that. Well, we've got it set up. Cockpit three. What do we got? We've got 10 minutes. All right, let's jump into locations, interior cockpit. I don't have anything for external. Um, let's see if we can light this. Oh, that means I've got to set up the lighting on. That's fine. It's okay. So I need a piece of sheet that goes through this wall because our ship doesn't have that. Shift D. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go G Y X. I'm just having a look. All right, let's P separate by selection. Get rid of that. Get rid of the mirror modifier. Oh, jeez, come back, come back, come back. Don't do that. Crud, 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 crud. Control Z. <laughs> let's select, oh, whoops. Control L, P separate by selection. Now let's do it. Oh my goodness, I gave myself a heart attack. Don't need bevel. Don't need the mirror, don't need the solidifier. E to extrude, up the Z axis. And then so we've got kind of this barrier. Dang it, keep going, GZ. All right, um, let's add in um, a background. Create, dynamic sky, create. Let's go into shading. 
we got to click on world we got to click on world one Ooh. so I'm gonna do this twice because I'm gonna do like um, a spaceship version okay let's go UV smart smart UV project come into UV editing let's pack that scale four let's come into layout let's press this yeah, it's a little bit better. I might even put, you know, just kind of like a carpet in the background. Why? Because I can. Um, I want to move this back. And does it got to go down? It's got to go down. Ah, uh, if I go, actually, I'm going to leave it like that. What we need to do is create some lighting. I'm going to go, oh, I should actually, no. We will call it there for a day. Um, if you want, I will probably be streaming on, it's 2.30. I will be streaming in six and a half hours. I'll be back on. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Please share the channel. Help me get to 25,000 subs this year. That's the goal. Will it happen? I don't know. Second channel, link in the description. Um, that's all about physics simulations that I've been running um and yes we will leave it at that and i will see you guys tonight for those who will join me thank you